It's no secret that agriculture is huge here in the state of Georgia, and just how huge it is can be shown in Fannin County by taking a look at their new state-of-the-art ag center, something that was once a vision, now a reality. We acquired this property years ago in anticipation uh, of, of a new school, but our student population is stabilized. Uh, it's about 35 acres. We have a barn, we have a stream. It lends itself so well to this, uh, to this facility and, and uh, as interest grew in agriculture and, and we realized the need for the facility, this seemed to be the perfect choice. The Board of Education come up with a plan and decided to go with it. And thanks to a special local option sales tax, it's completely paid for. This facility is, is roughly three and a half million dollars. Uh, but it is an extensive facility. Uh, it, it's built to classroom standards. It's state of the art. It's a huge upgrade from where their old program was based. When you went to our, old, our former program, which was on our campus, it was a very tight space. It was small. The kids weren't able to bring up their animals as frequently and, and to really have that hands-on experience. Now, in the new building, you'll be lucky to find a tight corner, much less a tight space. And they're all excited to see what kind of success they hope comes with this new facility. If you go into the back and you see the space that we have and the opportunities that they have, the, ant the livestock that's going to be able to be housed here on this, on this facility, and then utilizing this acreage that we have, that is going to translate to more success, I believe, for our students. One great thing about the new facility is that it's not just for the school system. It was also built with intentions of allowing the local ag community to make use of it as well. Our community efforts and involvement will also take you know, a full swing. Uh, after school hours, weekends, you know, when we're not using it during the day. Well, our first priority is for our students, obviously. But because we do recognize that this facility can be utilized in so many capacities, uh, we want the community to be able to benefit from it as well. The next priority being the students due to the fact that they are the next generation and Fannin County wants them to stick around. This will allow students in Fannin County to pursue those interests in agriculture and environmental science uh, and, uh, and, and, and be able to be productive members of the community and fill that need and remain here. Uh, a lot of our students uh, years ago would have to move away uh, for career choices, but. We believe that this facility will allow them to explore opportunities and develop the skills that they need to be productive, successful, and remain here. And remain indeed. <laughs> Agriculture is a big part of the county's economy, and like most communities in the state or even the nation, they need a younger workforce to be ready to take over someday. Agriculture remains the, the number one industry in Georgia. Uh, it's a very real part of what we do here in Fannin County. Reporting in Blue Ridge for the Farm Monitor, I'm John Holcomb.